So in the last video, we show how to find the cross curve of the uh, between uh, of the uh, transmon and VD cavity system. We found that it's very tiny, only eighty kilohertz. Uh, why is that? Um, probably is because uh, the qubit frequency is too far away from the uh, cavity frequency, right? Another thing is that uh, is the qubit located at the strongest electric field of the cavity. Right, we can do this in uh, by uh, inserting a plane. Right, so I need to go to YC plane, and then I'm going to draw this plane. And I know that in order uh, to uh, draw the plane, that will cut along the location of the uh, system. Uh, I uh, the x has to be about zero. If you look at here, right, zero. And then I just take this, and then just draw the rest. I will just go all the way right, to get this plane, okay? Now, this plane is not going to be used for simulation, so we are going to assign this as a law model. So we're going to right-click properties, and then we will say, uh, double-click this one, uh, uncheck the model, I think so, then it should become some law model. Law model means that it's not used in the simulation, right? So, uh, but it can help us to capture the distribution of the electric field. First, uh, let's just make sure we uh, put in the right place, right? We can try to view, uh, let's say uh, from top, yeah, it is at the center, right? Uh, from the side view, it is also at the center, Right, and then from the front and back, you should be something like this. Uh, too much, but that is okay. Okay, so I'm going to uh, crop this, but before uh, I'm going to click on this one, uh, fail. Maybe I just click here, and then I say I want to do the uh, electric field plot. Right, uh, I mean right click, plot, e view, magnitude, and say okay. Okay, I, I need to rerun it. I forgot to run it, so I run it again. Should be quick, this structure. Okay. Now, uh, let, let's look at this thing, right? This is, uh, I don't see anything. I need to change the scale. Uh, let me change to uh, maybe auto. Yeah. Uh, so basically you see that uh, it is uh, the maximum, right? The maximum. And now we are using uh, if you, I think, uh, let me just change to the uh, energy instead of uh, the source and maybe just use the energy right because the second mode is belong to the cavity right so we are doing the second mode right and then i will try to uh, change the scale right so definitely you see that the center is the highest right so we place the cupid here so it is correct right we're, we're putting at the right location right so then what can we do? One thing is look at the uh, plot. You see the difference between the energy, the frequency, right? Right click and then say marker, add marker. Add to here, add to here. It is nice 7.4 to 5.3 gigahertz, right? So can we make them closer? Maybe the cross curve will increase. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is to change the inductance of the QP so you always can bias it differently right or use different structure to get the right QP let's say change to seven narrow Henry okay and then I'm going to uh, uh, run it again and let's see what happened right the cavity frequency doesn't change much but the qubit increases right and pretty close to the cavity now right now let's take a look at the uh so this is good right so let me uh now let's go back to the uh kiss uh metal 
right and then let, let's run it again so let's just make sure right this is the right project shift enter keep doing this josephson junction now it's running already it, it will run again but uh since This already done, so it is not run, running again to save time. So it will just uh, load the data. Right. So now it analyzed the variable. We have run five. Uh, no, this is JJ. Uh, if you look at the LJ, we have run 12 nano Henry and 7 nano Henry, right? So it is going to analyze both. Okay. Right. And then we'll continue. Again, when it is doing the uh, EPR, now this time it has two variations, uh, 12 nano Henry and seven nano Henry, right? But in, uh, actually in the second case, they're too close. So you see this JJ start to, uh, to hybridize with another, the, the, the uh, cavity mode. So now if we keep, if we look at this, we do have a very large, uh, much larger cross curve of 300 uh, kilohertz, right? But this brings other problems, but I just want to show you these are the possibility for uh, optimizing or changing the cross curve.